The new Peugeot E5008 is here with hybrid and electric power. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where this is the third generation Peugeot 5008 that plugs into Europeans already crowded SUV segment in more ways than one. That's available with a fully electric drivetrain but you can also have the three row family hauler with a plug in hybrid setup. Alternatively, the French brand part of the Stellantis group plans to sell a cheaper mod hybrid model as well. And essentially the new 5008 is an enlarged version of the latest 3000 a introduced in 2023 and it sits on the stla medium platform and has the following dimensions 188.5 inches long 74.4 inches wide and 66.5 inches tall with a generous wheelbase of 114.1 inches now it has one major advantage over the tesla model y sold in europe and that it's available with a third row the european model y does not have a third row yet and you can imagine there's not much cargo space left with all seven seats in place but 9.1 cubic feet should suffice for short trips around town. Now in the five seat configuration, the luggage capacity jumps to 26.4 cubic feet. And should you need even more space, you can unfold the second row and unlock 64 cubic feet. Now, while SUVs nowadays tend to have swoopy roof lines, the new Peugeot 5008 retains the boxy shape of its predecessor to maximize interior space. It largely inherits the design of the E3008 smaller brother, complete with the same 21-inch display positioned atop the dashboard. There's also 10 customizable touch controls providing shortcuts to often use functions accessible from the center console. Now, the most affordable version will be powered by a turbocharged 1.2-liter gasoline engine fitted with 48-volt technology. This tiny three-cylinder mill sends 136 horsepower to the front wheels via a six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission featuring a built-in electric motor. Now, should you need more oomph, the plug-in hybrid combines a 150 horsepower combustion engine with a 123 horsepower electric motor for a total system output of 195 horsepower channeled through a seven-speed dual-clutch auto. Now, this PHEV can cover over 50 miles on electric power before the gas engine starts feeding it from the 15.8 gallon fuel tank. Then there's the fully electric E5008 model available in multiple configurations. Now the single motor front wheel drive versions come with 210 horses and 228 horses, both which offer instant torque of 254 pound feet. Step up to the dual motor all wheel drive model and you get a combined output that is rated at 318 horsepower. Now stick to the front wheel drive model and Peugeot installs a 73 kilowatt battery good for 311 miles but the bigger 98 kilowatt pack means fewer stops at a charging station since the range grows to 410 miles. Now the dual motor all wheel drive version gets the bigger battery but efficiency takes a hit due to the vehicle's higher curb weight. Now those batteries are guaranteed for 8 years or 100,000 miles during which Peugeot is sure charging capacity won't drop below 70%. Now heat pump comes as standard as such does a 11 kilowatt charger. Now you can optionally get a 22 kilowatt charger while DC charging can support up to 160 kilowatts. In this case, it'll take around 10 minutes to put enough energy in the battery for 62 miles, but spending in half an hour at a charging station replenishes the battery from 20 to 80 percent. And Peugeot won't be talking prices until closer to the September on sale date, but given that the mod hybrid 3008 Allure starts at 34,650 pounds in the UK, which is 44,400 US dollars, so you'd expect the ICE 5008 to cost just under 40,000 pounds, 51,000 dollars, and the entry level level EV to set you back around 50,000 pounds, $64,000. Now a starter spec Tesla Model Y for reference only costs 44,990 pounds in the UK, $57,680 here in the States, but that doesn't have a third row, at least not yet. So with that said, what are you guys thinking about the new Peugeot 5008 and which configuration do you think you would take it in drop those comments down below if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and we will see you guys in the next one peace